had with the introduction between you two. Yeah. It just felt a little rushed. Like if you haven't seen each other in 10 years or whatever, like maybe it's because there's not enough lines there. Uh -huh. Like there was no like, how you doing? Or, yeah. you know, God, it's been a long time. Yeah. You know, there was none of that. Right. And you kind of just rolled right in. Right. And maybe, maybe obviously the author did that intentionally. Uh -huh. So maybe the reason, because don't you think that's a little weird? Do yeah. you? Yeah, no, I, I do. So we have to find a reason that we can make that work and not just ignore that. Right. To me, I would make the choice that the reason the author did that is because both of you are speechless and neither of you know how to start. And so it becomes almost like a weird, awkward, how do we start this conversation deal? Right. Uh, you know, once he starts throwing stuff in your face, I think you can let that affect you more and not know how to handle it so well. You know, because there's a part of you that wants to hug him and there's a part of you that wants to slap him. And the fun of it is watching you deal with that. So don't be so resolute. Don't have it being set and you've solved this, how I'm supposed to feel about this. I think part of the fun of the scene is that you don't know how to feel about it. That's, I like that moment when you said to him, you know, you, you know, do your best thing and do what you got to do or whatever, right? That was cool because it, it did have that sort of conflicted quality in you of not really knowing how do I, how do I, do, what do I do? Was that the very end? It was nearing the end, yes. Why? Because you're in conflict. Right. We talked about this last time, which is you're taking the gym away from the kids. Right. This is not easy to do. And part of you wants to keep the money. But when he said that line, hey, what's the difference? Nobody knows. That's a funny line. Yeah, I don't know why you guys are laughing. I was hey, laughing because, <laughs> because it's such a criminal thing to say. It has, there's no moral issue there. There's nothing to do with, you know, what God would think. It's just nobody knows, so we're good. You know, I killed this person. Nobody found out, so we're good. What's the problem? And part of you can respond to that. And I didn't see that. Right. Like, he doesn't get it. Right. Like nobody knows. Like, what the? F what are you talking about? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the point. Right. How did you get so off path <laughs> in the way you think? So be more like confused. By well, con confused, but almost. Don't be afraid to smile at how ridiculous this is. Right. People, when they're in conflict, do funny things. Right. And your character needs to be in a tremendous amount of conflict throughout the scene. So don't be afraid to laugh. Don't be afraid to smile in disbelief of how to cope. I think also the way you give him the money, you got to be careful because it's coming off very aggressive. Yeah. And I, I think that I would make the choice that you, you give it to him gently. Right. Like, thank you for your offer. But it just, right. you know, what was missing from you was the side of you that understands from him, it's coming from a good place. Right. Like if you really break it down, what he did in some ways is very commendable. The fact that he gave you the money, A, many would say was, you know, dirty or not, because he could have spent it on a car. Mm -hmm. A, is very uh, honorable, and B, what makes it even more honorable is that he won't even take credit for it because he knows you won't accept it that way. Right. So that idea in and of itself is a very good quality in him. Right. It's just that he's, he's, he's not thinking right. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So recognize that in him, that you do care about him. Right. And I would also make the choice that when you say to him, I'm going to bring everything down, including you, make that a warning to him. Like, dude, you better be like, you should get out of town. Right. Because I care about you. I'm telling you this. And then it makes you, you know, I mean, I, I think he is sort of a straight guy. Right. But the fact that you would give your friend out of care a little bit of a warning, I guess I kind of like you for doing that. Right. Got it. It makes you more human. 
instead of so like by the book of what is right and wrong? Because theoretically, if 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 you were gonna say I'm gonna do the right and wrong thing, you wouldn't tell them that. Right. You would just say I'm gonna do some stuff. Uh -huh. right. And if, if it was all about okay, I gotta put him in prison, I'm not gonna tell him. Right. Do you understand? Yeah, that makes a lot.